Well, it is Friday and I am in the office. I was not in court today. I was seeing clients today in the office for consultations and follow-up visits. People often ask if I'm not going to court, why am I still in a suit and tie? And I tell them quite frankly that our clients deserve that level of respect. Uh, I'm always dressed when I come in the office uh, during the week to see clients. Sometimes on the weekends, if I'm not seeing clients, I'll wear a polo shirt, but uh, it in our office, if you're seeing a client, you are dressed to, to meet the client and show that client the level of respect that they've come to re expect from our law firm and really they deserve. So that's just a little bit about that. With that said, it is Friday. Came up with the weekly e update today. We talked to over 4,000 of our current and former clients in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, some fantastic articles. I put in there the, the articles that I wrote from the headlines, one of which was on the case in Philadelphia with the biker who had attacked that woman and had attacked her car and had smashed her windshield and had allegedly headbun her with his helmet, which charged with aggravated assault. I broke that case down. In addition, I put out the article about the most common crimes during the baseball playoffs. So some fantastic articles going in the weekend. We often see that the weekends are our busiest time for our law firm, both in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. And we make ourselves available every day at 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is Friday. I'm giving out the weekend advice if you are traveling with for if you are traveling through Pennsylvania or New Jersey and you're stopped for suspicion of DUI in Pennsylvania or DWI in New Jersey, do not refuse the chemical test. It will never help your criminal case. If you're asked to, for if the, if the officer asks if he can search your car, do not give consent and make it clear that, that you're not giving consent. If he or she wants to search the car anyway, do not get in their way. Do not fight with the officer. Do not argue with the officer. You're not obligated to tell the officer anything, but give your license and registration. That's it. You're not obligated to tell the officer what you drank, where you've gone, where you've been. I'm a little sick today. I'm not really sick. It's the allergy. So I'm having trouble speaking. But remember that if you are traveling and you are stopped for DUI and in Pennsylvania, WI, New Jersey, just follow those simple rules and you'll put yourself in a better position for your case. Remember that your Pennsylvania gun does not belong in New Jersey. And New Jersey has very, very strict laws when it comes to unlawful possession of firearms in the state. Now, New, New Jersey quite recently has made it a lot easier to obtain a permit to carry, but still carrying a weapon in New Jersey without a permit is a very serious offense and it's subject to, subject to a mandatory minimum sentence in New Jersey. Unlike Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania does not have mandatory minimum sentencing, but the unlawful possession of a firearm is still a felony offense within the Commonwealth. Finally, if you are traveling, be aware of where you are. Be aware of who's in your car. Remember that I've done articles on actual versus constructive possession of things like firearms and drugs. If it's found in your car, there is an argument that you, that you constructively possessed that item, especially if you're if your occupants in the car deny that it's theirs. So once again, if you have questions, 215-755-9000 of Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Have a great Friday. The bar results came out today in Pennsylvania. So congratulations to all those who passed the bar on the, uh, well, uh, who, who found out they passed the bar. I believe that the bar pass rate this year was 71% up from last year, which was 67%. My alma mater, Temple University, had 86% bar passage rate. So that's fantastic. For those who didn't pass, life does go on. There's another opportunity in February. It's not the end of the world. So pick yourself up and get back to work and hopefully pass the next time. But once again, have a great weekend and I'll talk to you all very soon.